Hello, everybody, and this is the Xbox One home screen. Enjoy it. Hey, and, 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 that's the end of our, and that's the end of our playthrough of the Sonic One home screen. Xbox One home screen. Two sorry. slash three years ago, uh, you, no one would have probably said we would actually be in there, considering how the Xbox One originally was going to be handled. So, yeah. This <laughs> game is sick. called... Okay, welcome to Quantum Break, everyone. Uh, develop... It's uh, an Xbox One uh, PC exclusive made by Microsoft, published by Microsoft Studios, and developed by Remedy, the creators of um, Max Payne and Alan Wake. Basically, they're the closest thing Microsoft has to their very own Naughty Dog, basically. Yeah. This was <laughs> one of the uh, titles that oh, wait, uh, uh, Microsoft uh, launched, wanted to launch on the Xbox One as... Uh, very in a sense of having new IPs, uh, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the Xbox One really needed that. As for why the Xbox One isn't the way it originally was, let's just say we won the internet war and leave it at that. Just like all the other uh, Remedy games, Quantum Break is, of course, cr a creation of Sam Lake, their creative head. And uh, the interesting thing about this game is that it's a mixture of uh, video game and uh, TV show. Where the choices you make in the game will affect how the TV episodes play out. And this is the first full main game, so the Alan Wake sequel doesn't really count, that he directed yeah. as well as wrote. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's an interesting thing in the options. You can actually disable the copyrighted music that is in the game, which of course oh is... Oh my god, that's the thing I always wanted! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's one thing I'll definitely give credit to this game. More games need to do this. Wait, Ben, why did you exactly. turn it off? I th disable. Sorry. Remember, I oh, turned. No, no, sorry, I forgot. Disable yeah, copyrighting. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I got it backwards. I, okay. Ignore me. <laughs> All right yeah. then. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah. As I've said countless times, look. If you don't want us to use copyrighted music in our gameplay videos, why put in an option to disable copyrighted music? Hell, even even the menu that says it right there, perfect for streaming the game. So, uh, yeah, the option. Thank, you, thank you, Sam Lake, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, well, this wall. is kind of like Microsoft wanted to capture also the YouTube audience, uh, and this was now, an ingenious move to do so. And by the way, here's the first problem. Every time you load up the game, this froze's like this. And the first time I put it up, I was like, what, did the game just crash? So best case in scenario, it's loading. Um, there you go. You see, you, you see quantum. You see, right, Madi. You should have skipped straight to this screen the moment I pressed new game. You shouldn't just let the game freeze like that and make me think the game crashed. Come on. Wait, so, considering that the game does that mean that aware like, of yeah. us streaming the video, it must be so self-aware that it knows the audience. <laughs> yeah. Well, so does this mean well, that you know the whole the, us the world? Oh, hold on, oi. Whoa. A D20? Yes, this is basically a superhero story when you get right down to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. But will Peter Petrelli get his powers again? So, is he any coolest tracer? Mm, I'll let you be the judge of that. Ethan? No, it's not. Well, it kind of looked like... Jody? To be... Well, uh, this is the first thing that kind of disappointed me. The, the the character models... I don't know. Maybe just because I recently played Uncharted 4, which looks so amazing. But this doesn't look all that much better than your typical PS3 game, honestly. Well, the, from the start of the Xbox One had already inferior capabilities compared to the PS4. Because it looks so therefore, but Microsoft has now bursted ahead of Sony in terms of graphics, unlike last generation. Well, Dark. Oh, let's see, let's see, hold on. Shit. Where are you going, man? <laughs> Charming. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pure cage moment right there. <laughs> And Sam Lake Cage. No, 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 no. Notice the way, notice the way okay. he delivered that line. Get out of the road! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's be honest, guys. You're giving Cage way too much credit. And yes, also, to be fair, Pedro, some people do. His dialogue talk like stands that. out more, but there were plenty of people who were doing over the top stupid dialogue well before Cage. Cage is just known because he was one of the first to do it. Oh that my god. The you please, please, uh, Pedro, don't tell me that the camera is still is always uh, 
so you know st stuck on your back it is well it, in some sections it is like uh, basically it's like this uh, whenever it's a section where you're not shooting anybody it's mostly just a scene where you're just walking it is like this but when you're in the actual shooting sections it's normal oh thank you because that's the ruin of every action shooting game Uh, hello, discount kingdom. Maybe, maybe I'm not that versed in shooters, but I don't know many uh, action games that uh, do that kind of action camera all the time. You, usually, this, from what I, from my knowledge, this kind of camera is only also used. Get, okay. Also, you get Meister. Sorry. Usually, my usually this is usually this kind of camera only used in uh, in scenes where you're not shooting anybody and you're just walking to some place. Hmm. Well. There's Dark Void. Which All right, let me just explain this. All right, here, one particular thing about this is narrative objects. This game, right from the beginning, uh, learn, uh, locate look at narrative objects in the world to immerse yourself in the Quantum Break story. You can review previously collected narrative objects in the timeline menu. Basically, uh, this is ba this game is shock full of audio logs and uh, text walls to read to. Um, to un to give some extra insight on the story and the characters. That 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 sounds nice. It, it, mm, it on, uh, paper. Uh, on paper, yes, <laughs> but there are times Jova where this borderline starts to remind me of the data log because yeah. th there's gonna be much, uh, th there's gonna be okay the, okay. The okay. Even see, see 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 here's the thing. I I don't, I don't mind I don't mind I didn't mind this kind of thing in Last of Us and Uncharted Four because in Uncharted Four and Last of Us those things are mostly just side stuff that can be ignored if you yeah it's mostly only if you want to add some extra detail from the from the world itself. But in here there's entire email conversations from from the main characters that uh, there's like it's literally like giant walls of text of, of main but characters do you have to act, but do you have to actually read them though you don't have to read them but i kind of wish that kind of information would show up in the actual cutscenes i don't know mm, well so like, like you said it's much a... that telling showing and not enough telling uh, well, no, no, they show okay. enough don't, don't get me wrong this is not final fantasy 14 level of this uh, they show enough uh, but I wish there was a little more showing than what they show. So what are we saying. doing in a university? Okay, okay, let, let, me, let me recap. Basically, we're Jack yeah. Joyce, uh, the main character. And uh, our best friend, well, Paul Serene, he called us to his university because he has something awesome to show us. At 4 a.m. <laughs> wow, Jesus Christ, guy. Can, can't you wait the next morning? I guess. Anyway, about what you said about... Okay, okay, okay. Just to clarify, that stuff you're talking about, there being too much talking and showing, is that all side stuff, though? Yeah, it's side stuff. Well, okay, how about this, Jova? Later on, we're going to see some of those emails ourselves, so I'll let you be the judge of that when we get I to it. I don't know. Uh, so I guess my thing is, like, well, if it's side stuff, though, I mean, well, it has every right it has. You know, it goes long as it's not something that, you know, really affects the main plot. It's like, well, you choose whether or not to take your time to look at all that side stuff. It's not like the dialogue where, you know, you kind of had to read that to understand what was going on yeah i guess uh, okay i'm gonna be honest so far this character model i don't know for some reason he doesn't look like he's actually in that world yeah i agree the, the graphics yeah, there's some kind of blur uh, it's yeah, motion blur yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah angry joe brought this up in his review there's an annoying motion blur that cannot be turned on ever and it's distracting anyway cutscene Well, what are you doing out here at 4 a.m., girly? Uh, she's spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, which is the company that um, our friend at works for. At 4 a.m.? Uh, uh, who are you to judge, uh, Jova? Well, I'm to judge the girl who's judging me for going out at 4 a.m. Actually, that, he has a good point, too. <laughs> who judges the judges? <laughs> uh, Dwebs, you're the judge. Uh, input? Um, no comment. <laughs> you see, Dwibs, the person who judges the judges also monitors the monitors, walks the walkers, dogs the dogs, catties the cats, and, and so on. Yeah. Anyway, basically, the point is, uh, Monarch Solutions is the company our best friend works for, and uh, mo and this woman is part of an activist group who's talking about, down with Monarch because they're destroying the environment and some shit, basically. 
So wait, is this guy our protagonist, or is he working for Monarch? Solutions? No, 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 no. Um, he's uh, he he has nothing to do with Monarch. Ah, he... get it? They crossed out solutions with problems. <laughs> yeah, right there, right there in that text, we can see what Monarch has been doing over the years and why she's against them. Basically, I'm I'm showing them off right now. So is this all a prologue theme? Because the story doesn't seem to have a clear semblance just yet. Uh, yes, it is. Um, th th this, but this, I'm I'm showing off this part. Uh, you don't have to talk to her. I think it functions as a tutorial for anything. I guess. N not not just that. Okay, not, not 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 just that. Um, this that that cutscene where I'm talking to um, to that girl. That's entirely optional. I just showed it because it gives some extra context to her because she's going to be a bit important later on. So this well, is a flashback and the that. guy is talking to that uh, girl at Monarch uh, Enterprises, whatever it is. Monarch oh, Solutions. Okay, 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 okay. What was with that line reading just then? He was talking way too fast as if he was Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing, Dwebs. Uh, some, the voice acting in the actual mocap scenes, the one, the ones that were shot, you know, kind of like uh, movie scenes are usually... But those are fine, but uh, the the lines that are recorded during gameplay, sometimes you can you when two characters are talking, you can tell they were recorded in different studios because uh, it doesn't even sound like the character. It's like Sonic Adventure One; the, the characters are talking at each other, not to each other. <laughs> so, uh, just to do an app comparison, Pedro, when comparing games in motion, how does this compare to the ever famous, wonderful looking in motion Ghost Trick on the DS? Spoilers. Well, Ghost. What? I well, said no, 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 I said no, no, that no, looks no, wonderful no, this, in motion. This game, no, no, this game gave a spoiler. So he was going to point a gun to his head. Well, like actually, Webs, to be fair, spoiling what's going to happen is kind of this game's gimmick because uh, you're, you're basically you predict the the two possible futures and you choose which one you like best. So, so spoiling the plot is kind of uh, this game's gimmick. It's, it's on Let purpose. Me guess. Is Let it me better guess. Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? There you go, Dr. Kim Memorial to Crow. Basically, Street these are. Time for Trump. There you go. Basically, our friend Paul Serene is a very famous guy here at, at Monarch. And so, um, basically, we can read uh, about uh, his achievements so we can get some extra insight on why he's such a famous guy and shit. All right. So let me guess, there's never going to be a story moment where you know the game actually does something surprising and fools you into a point where your prediction turns out to be nullified by uh, some unforeseen factor. <laughs> you see? This writing. Yeah, just to, yeah, just, just, just to make you sure the, the audience knows the, the characters' names, make sure they say the names out loud. You see the actor I love, I love this. The, the, um, the CIA agent at the beginning of Dark Knight Rises? I love this quote from the Wikipedia page. Pardon the game's story was written by a team of three full-time writers, along with Lake, with, the, with a goal of making it believable. There you go, let's read about Paul Serena. Well, Serena. I'll admit, as goofy as it is, they don't. They seem to be acting human for the most part. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not no, no, no. or David Cage. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the writing in this game is uh, above those two guys. I'm, I, you will never hear me say otherwise. It's mostly the fact that the characters are flat but um i'll let you be the judge of that as we get further in anyway okay. here we go paul serene focus article this is all about the project he's working on and blah is blah blah or, or, is, or is it bad that i could still tell that that they're just models and not real uh well 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 dark star Theo apparently told me that apparently this was originally going to be an xbox 360 game uh, and it was yeah, upscaled for xbox guy, one that guy it was the same guy from the dark knight rises oh you uh, Teo, uh, um, why don't you tell Darkstar since you were the one who told yeah, me? Yeah, uh, basically, this alongside a couple of other games like Crimson Dragon and Killer Instinct was technically supposed to be just an Xbox 360 game, but even er, it, even mid-development or early in development, Microsoft basically had a huge change of plans and basically said to all team development, okay, stop for a while because we're going to release a new console so you can use the, those as <laughs> launch, your, your games as a launch title. And this was one of them. The other talk, uh, I mentioned Killer Instinct <laughs> was a huge success even to now and crimson dragon just failed miserably because they decided to make a fucking kinect game <laughs> whatever and digressing on the rail the shooter line, it was supposed to be um a, um an xbox 360 game but was delayed on purpose to be reworked as a launch title for the xbox one the only problem is it came out three years too late to be that well yeah wait, 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 because wait, wait, shenanigans wait, wait. happened again what? oh my Red god it, it just came out this year 
Yeah, yeah. yeah this game came out this year. Yes. Yeah, it came out. It basically, Joe, but it came out. It came out worldwide back in back on April fifth. They had to adapt it to the Xbox One hardware. So wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, guys. Game that gets delayed for three years gets ported to Xbox One and other new system. Comes out 2016. Oh, you all know what I'm coming up here with. Mighty number nine. Ding ding ding. I was gonna I say. Was, I was gonna say. Uh, great. What do I? What's my prize? Uh, you, you win Jesse Eisenberg and Batman v Superman saying ding 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 ding. Anyway, ding, ding, ding. to go back to the game, uh, yeah. Jack is actually basically the narrator of the game as well. He's telling this story to that woman who was interviewing him, and sometimes yeah. you hear the narration He's, and the uh, woman that, asking that, him that. asking him questions. So that's what you keep hearing over the game. The reason I'm checking out things is to find any narrative objects that might be around. Oh, it makes sense. Uh, reward I exploration I and everything. And here's another one. All right, here's an optional thing. We can have Paul do as a, an entire lecture on the pro Project Promenade, which is what he's working on. So go ahead, Paul. Nice. So I don't know if it's... Time. time. The time. final the frontier. final frontier. Uh, go ahead, Dips. Uh, don't you mean Joe? Oh, wait, never mind. Go on. Also, oh, actual stock footage. And so on and so on. So, uh, Pedro, um, you mentioned at some point that we play as the bad guy. Is Jack said bad guy? No, no, Jack is the good guy. Oh. We'll find out who we'll find out who the bad guy is in part two. Also, since it happened in kinda in Alan Wake two, I have to kinda ask out of curiosity. <laughs> this is a remedy game. Is at some point some is there someone doing or is that like a poster with the Max Payne face? Uh, so, uh, well, well, actually, to the game that gets mostly referenced in this game is Alan Wake. Mm. Remember, remember, yeah, remember apparently the game, originally the this right game was supposed no, to. No, be... I know, I know that Max Payne now is owned by um, Rockstar, uh, Rocksteady, Rockstar. Rockstar. Yeah, okay. Yeah, originally this was actually going to be a sequel to Alan Wake. Yeah, but it decided now. Nah, I far recall interviews, Sam said that they still have plans for a sequel to Alan Wake. We just wanted to finish their current project. So we'll have to see what we're going to do after this. Unless we're sequel baiting at the end of this game. And, uh. Why is this game marketed as a platformer slash third person shooter? Uh, it actually has platforming sections, surprisingly. Joy. Uh... Well now, well they're, they're actually, actually, they're, they're, they're not actually, they're they're they're, 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 decent, they're decent enough. I mean they're not. I mean it's oh, not. Oh nice. I mean it's not Super uh, Mario Galaxy level of great, but it works uh, fine for what it, it makes use of the time powers basically. I'm okay with the idea. I just wasn't expecting that. Anyway, basically what happened was Paul. Of, yeah, the thing about that we're talking about is that Will uh, Joyce, who's uh, Jack Joyce's brother, uh, he wasn't okay, fully okay with this project, and you're gonna find out why in a moment. Uh oh. Wait, does this have to do with how Jack got his powers? Oh, yes, no. guys. Well, Jova, no, this no, is a no, superhero. No, this is superhero stories, and you have a giant no, machine guys, at the center guys, of a room. Guys. Uh, Guys, no, no, it's Van Forstick again! No! No, no. don't no worry, Dwebs. No, Dwebs, Dwebs, Dwebs. Settle down. But yeah, but yeah, Terra has a point. Terra has a point. Travel, this is not a... dimension hopping. Well, like I said, this is a, like Terra said, this is a superhero story, and there's a giant machine in a giant room. What? I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> no. Oh, use it to make hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, Jack, well, Jack doesn't have his powers yet, does he? Okay, yeah. What's going to happen is that everyone on Earth will be cursed. Cursed with the power of time travel. Imagine if everyone on Earth literally just got Well, the power actually, of time it's forward. not time travel. It's not powers of time travel per se. It's more like the power to control time. Basically, you know, freeze people and shit like that. Wow, we've been saying time oh, a lot during nice. this. We've been saying time a lot during I, this. I think through. we're going to be right on time with this. <laughs> what a story! I was gonna say, oh, here you go. Here's another one. Here's here's one that I'm one of the ones I'm talking I about. Guess time is going to be flying. Okay. I was gonna say, look, look at this. An entire look at this. An entire oh, nice. email conversation. Wow. I like if that. We say time, if we say time, we say time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to agree with Angry Joe uh, what he said in his review. I don't find I, I think I, I don't like it when the game just uh, asks me to just stop and read long walls of text. 
I don't know. Again, to be fair, though, it's kind of your choice of whether or not you actually want to stop and read those. It's like, so, well, does, you so does the data log of Final Fantasy thirteen. Yeah, but again, the data log was more so needed second, because, you know, you said, needed that to understand what was nerdy. going on. As Pedro was confirmed to you, this stuff is strictly side stuff. You don't even need to read it to understand what's going on. No, you don't. To be fair, yeah, yes. No, you don't. But I can't... I, but I, just I still... thought you said Final Fantasy 30. But like I said, mm -hmm. I can't, but like I said, I kind of wish... Uh, okay, I'm fine with details about the city and stuff like that, but uh, email conversations about Paul and how he came up with this machine, I kind of wish that would be explained in, in dialogue. Eh, to be fair, it looks about as long as Anthem's... See, look how long this like, is! Just, honestly, a lot of those messages I, I aren't too long. I feel pity for Most of the localization are... teams uh, for the multi five version. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, oh, right, when they had to bring it over to the countries. Well, honestly, yeah, yeah. though... Also, honestly, though, most glad, of these email I'm messages... This game's in English. I, mean, I can't imagine trying to rate this in Portuguese. And honestly, though... Uh, 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 no, don't even get me started on that, Webs. Uh, they didn't even get... A port real Portuguese, they've got Brazilian Portuguese for this. Uh, yeah, it's like, honestly, those are no messages. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah. Let me guess, Brazilian Portuguese to you guys. Oh, they actually. No, 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 no. I have nothing against Brazilian <laughs> no, Portuguese. It. It's just that Brazilian Portuguese should be reserved for the American version, not the European version. Come oh, on, God. guys. Are there any differences? Uh, Jova, what was that line that Stevie Griffin said about the whole cliche about Savvy asking when instead of when? There are different words in between the two the two yeah. languages, webs, and uh, we? and different where accents, we? basically. Okay. No, don't. So yeah, uh, let's assist Paul with the experiment. Activate right. the cool. See how it works. Where I'm is... sure everything will just be fine. Plot twist: You press the button and it immediately explodes. I'm just—I was just trying to make uh, sure there were so no narrative options in there. Not also, Russian. wait, wait—they're doing an experiment, and the experiment's probably going to go horribly wrong. Hi, Half Life. You're freaking. <laughs> Hi, Fantastic Four. Actually, Hi, yeah, to, actually, yeah, Dwebs has a good point. This particular part, yeah, reminds me quite a bit of Half Life, actually. Chrono, uh, Techno Babble. Techno Babble, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Remember, guys, remember, guys, whenever the proverb crone is involved, it obviously means chronos, which means time. Whoa. Yes. Your multimedia reflections. All right, and, uh,. Okay, here's what, okay. Here was here's another problem that will this granted this problem was going to become much more apparent later on, but allow me to bring this up right now just because. Okay, um, I honestly believe that the best superhero stories are the ones that make us care about the hero before he gets his superpowers. In this game, as you can probably see, since he's about to get his superpowers anyway, Jack so far is a plank of wood, and we don't really know well, anything we about just him. Met him we I know. I'm guessing that. I know, but that's the and thing, Teo. Uh, I kind of wish we would have um, got to know him in his natural element before shit hits the fan. Admittedly, to be fair, this is a video game, so those kind of have the responsibility of, you know, getting the players engaged with the gameplay. You know, like with a lot of superhero video games, you kind of see them either as a superhero <laughs> or you're like a few of them before they get the powers in the video games. So I kind of see it as a necessary evil in a video game, unless it's its own original hero character. But even still here, it's obviously about the gameplay. So I could maybe see them growing his character once he gets the powers, because I guess to be fair, when it comes to the whole time thing, it doesn't really say change him, like say uh, the Fantastic Four get changed physically or how or how Spider-Man gets changed so much with him, it's well, yeah, okay. I don't mean to make I don't mean to make a time control power sound <laughs> mundane, but yeah, time control power <laughs> shouldn't really change him. All right, all right, let's let's check it out. Then. Engage. All right. Can you can you actually mess that section up? Uh, no. It's a cutscene, Dweebs. Also, uh, oh, never mind. Okay, it's now, it's the, uh, now it's the now uh, it's the Cerebro. I want to say some of these video game effects are a bit lacking. Also, also, um, like I said, the motion blur key is still distracting. By the way, yeah. to, um, give honestly, to give a contrast, I'm gonna be honest. I'm really gonna be honest, Peter. I'm not really noticing any. In famous second son, to give a contrast, watch which one one of the titles of a PS4 had quote unquote as an excuse neon 
quote unquote powers just to showcase the neon technology of a PS4 and they look gorgeous honestly so yes. in contrast what do you have here blurring uh, what blurring are we talking about though I have to agree with Twips I'm not really seeing what blurring there well, is uh, Try looking at the main character as he moves uh, when he stops and gets moving, yeah. and, or one of the characters in the background when he stops and gets moving. And All right, hold on, hold on. let me see what happens. Basically, what he's going to do is he's, they're going to have uh, Paul Troll travel back two minutes into the past. Okay. What if he so, meets himself? Eggs. There you go, Dwip. Since he just since he was about to time to time travel two minutes into the past, his two minute. Fut uh, for the fu his future paradox, guy, anyone? yeah, his future guy from the, from two from two minutes in the future okay, showed up. So my gimmick now is that is that every time I say something, Sam Lake throws it at me. Okay, but yeah, but yeah, as Tio said, okay, so that means he's obviously gonna go into the time pod so we can go back two minutes to you know keep it so that this all makes sense, right? Yeah, to be fair, this is legit. He was about to travel two minutes into the past, so obviously that the the one from the two minutes in the future will show up here. Obviously, yeah, what he said. But if he <laughs> waits too much, the future version will stop existing. Well, to be fair to you, every game has their own interpretation of how time travel works. So. True. Let me guess. One and of them. Really let me guess. Easy to fuck up. Let me guess. And I guess, them, okay, and okay, I guess. Okay. 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 I guess one of them's gonna kill the other. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Nah, no. Sense, and I guess to be fair, this is game, so you know, for as long as they're talking, it's probably just around two minutes. Keeping time intact, of course. No, but don't. There you go. Yeah. But then sense. how come? But then how come that guy? But how come the main character hasn't met himself yet? The dwibs. You don't want to open that uh, can of dwibs. worms. Um, dwibs. It wouldn't make sense because the main character has not gone to the time machine. The, the space that was subjected only to the time travel was inside the capsule itself. Mm hmm. It's a time machine, so it's confined to its own uh, uh, particular time uh, space. Uh, sorry. The amount of times we said the amount of times we said time in this playthrough, it's. Uh, <laughs> Are you really it's, surprised? And, and there's the William. Time. Here's Will Joyce, Jack's brother. He's here to stop the experiment. Why does he have a gun? He wants to stop the experiment because, you know, time travel is going to destroy the world and shit. Okay, uh, why is this not a remarked and reported okay, thing if around you wanna campus? Be if you want to be convincing, pointing a gun at your fucking face is not gonna work. So, let me get this straight. On the campus, these two students have made a time machine, and this has not become the talk of the campus somehow? I don't know. And there you go. There's the freak accident that gives him superpowers. Ah. Let me guess. It kills the CIA guy in the process. The CIA guy? From Dark Knight Rises, I'm referring oh, to. Oh, that him. guy. Paul. No, 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 no. Paul doesn't die. Don't worry. In fact, nobody dies in this particular accident, actually. So, don't worry. Hmm, Let me guess. Paul's going to become the bad guy. Oh, very good, Jova. Well, it makes sense, you know, he's trapped in the time pod. It's obviously going to give him powers, too, and he'll want revenge well, against Will. Very genre savvy, I see. Well, it's predictable, I guess. <clears throat> oh. Not to mention, you got, um, you got uh, this guy. This guy clearly sounds slimy and slippery, so it makes sense for him to be the bad guy. <laughs> what a shame, though. They were such <laughs> great one, friends. Too. He just ended up in the Dark Knight, right? So, yeah, time just broke the fuck down. So, what? I wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> so, yeah, in the next part, we try to figure the shit out. So, Wait, see you then. How are we doing so the next do we part get to of Back to the, the Future and Time Broke? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's very simple. It's very simple, Darkstar. I'm going to send Dwibs uh, one part into the future so he can bring it to us. <laughs> uh, we'll see sure. what happens, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Okay, Dwibs, into the TARDIS. 
Go ahead. But, but, but the TARDIS is not meant to be used for Don't worry, yeah. Get in a fucking TARDIS, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, see you, everybody. And uh, we'll see we'll, we'll see if we can get dwebs uh, out of TARDIS uh, one part into the future. So see you in the future. <laughs> and engage!